In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate and download Landsat TM GeoTIFF images. These are the full resolution images and contain each of the different bands of light collected by Landsat. However, in order to view these files in a GIS, you're going to need to process them. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do here using Quantum GIS, a free open source GIS package. The first step is to go to the Globus website, which is the USGS's archive of Landsat imagery. To get there, you can either Google Glovis, G-L-O-V-I-S, or go to usgs.glovis.gov. Once you're there, it presents a little map of the United States or the world uh, up in the left-hand corner. And you can go to the different area that you're wanting by clicking on it in that map. Of course, the resolution is pretty low, so you can just get the general area there and then zoom in, uh, increase the resolution of that area, and add different layers like towns or roads or political boundaries. So here I'm going to add uh, towns and uh, borders which makes it easier to identify the right Landsat image. You can see nine different images up there. The one that it's highlighting is the one in the center. And I'm going to have it filter out by Landsat TM images. And these are the easiest to use without any correction. Of course, you can scroll through the different dates that the images were collected. Um, and you can also filter by the amount of cloud cover. Once you've found the image you want, uh, add that to your shopping cart. And you'll need to be logged into the USGS site, which is a free registration. And then it gives you four different options. And in this exercise, I want you to download the GeoTIFF image. This is a rather large file. And once it's downloaded, you're going to need to uncompress it using uh, an uncompression software like PKZip or WinZip, both of which are free, I believe. So here I'm exporting it from my I'm uncompressing it into a different folder. So I want to get all those files into the same folder. You'll notice there's a number of image files and also some text files which are part of the geocoding. Okay, now it's exporting, uncompressing into my folder. Once you've completed exporting, you can go into Quantum GIS. And now we're going to process those files. And to do that, we're going to use a plugin called uh, Build Virtual Raster Catalog. And here it's going to ask us to input the images. So I navigate to that folder that we just created. I'm going to pull in all the TIFF images that are in that folder. Next I'm going to set the resolution to high. Oh, I'm sorry. First we need to um, give it a destination folder. So the new file, the new uh, composited file it's going to create. And I'm just going to put that back in the same folder. Then I'm going to set the resolution to high. And I'm going to separate the bands of light, that way I can manipulate them. And then I'm going to have it load the cover, load to the coverage that uh, is currently there.
depending on your processor speed, this com this uh, com uh, composition can take a little, little while. And once you have the image there, close that out. And now you can manipulate the bands of light by clicking on the icon in the left hand sidebar. So I'm going to turn it to a, a virtual uh, color at 7, 4, 2. So the red wavelength is 7, blue is 4, and green is 2. And you can see it gives it a natural look. And here I'm going to overlay a boundary layer. And in this case, the boundary for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. And the, by default, it comes in filled. And so I just want to have a wireframe. So I'm going to turn off the fill for the inside. And there you have it a geo referenced geo tiff image